Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, we're going to be going through the wiring up of the GPS unit to the Omnibus V2 board. Now, this is going to be like a double episode where we go through the theory and then we'll go across to the workbench and get it soldered up. Now, there's one very important note, which is for the V2 board, you do need a separate connect wire connector. Now, I've put that up additional into this series, and you'll see those set of wires just hanging out the side and you'll also notice that I have been and plugged those wires in and that's a crucial point a critical point as we're about to see the wires on this board the color coding for the little wires which I've got plugged in here is completely irrelevant okay what is important is that we match the cables on the GPS unit to the board so I'll give you a very quick example. Uh, the black, well, the red wire, which you normally would have thought is being positive on this little wire plug, is not five volts, okay? Instead, looking at the diagram, it's actually uh, the RX wire, okay? So a massive point here is ignore the uh, color coding on the cable connector. You only pay attention to the colors on your actual GPS unit, which comes out of the main wires. So with that said, what I've got up in front of us right now uh, is a, a picture of the board, a picture of the connector, and a picture of the GPS unit, okay? And then in a moment, we'll go across to the, the uh, workbench and we'll go and get it soldered up. But I feel it's really important uh, that we just cover the basics here, the theory first, and then we'll go and do the practical. So the most important no note is which socket do you actually plug that connector in? Uh, and it's actually on the top of the board next to the USB connector. Now again, I'm just gonna put this up on the webcam so it's super clear which connector you put it in. It's on the top, okay, uh, next to the USB slot, okay, or opposite in 90 degrees to the USB slot and it's on the top of the board. And remember, you know it's the top of the board because the top of the board has got an arrow uh, on it pointing towards the front of the, the actual board itself. So it's, again, let me just get the thing out on here. It is, if I choose the right coloring option, it is that connector there, which is at 90 degrees to your USB connector. So let's start off and let's get ourselves quickly acquainted. Uh, in that little connector, we have RX6, TX6, ground, five volts, SCL and SDA. Fantastic, that because over on our GPS chip itself, and I need to make sure that this lot are all joined up, excuse me a moment, merge, there we go, is that we've got the wire, wire and out on the right hand side and it says VCC red, so our red wire is five volts and then we match the colors up from our GPS unit to the correct pins on the board. So we completely ignore the color coding on the cables okay which are plugged into the board we only pay attention to what's coming out of the gps unit and that'll make more sense when we wire up in a few moments time so let's do the wiring let's go and do the obvious ones first so uh, out of your gps unit you will have a red wire and we'll need to connect that to the five volts which is one two three up from the begin uh, from the bottom and also if i grab black We'll also need to connect up ground as well. Uh, so the black wire command out of the GPS unit needs to go to the fourth pin up from the, but uh, from the bottom uh, or the third wire down from the top, depends which way you look at it. We also need to connect up the RX and TX wires to the RX and TX wires on the board itself. But crucially, we need to invert them. Okay, so we need to take RX from the GPS unit. In fact, I'll draw it on the screen. So what color is uh, RX on here? It's a white wire. So mm, white's probably not the best color to be drawing on here. So I'm gonna actually choose a gray. So what we'll do, we'll, it's the third one up, it's the white one there. So we take RX from the GPS unit and we take it onto the TX pin on our connector okay or onto the wire which has got tx on it so that's the second one down uh, and what color is uh tx it's yellow let's go and choose a yellow from the uh library of colors here there we go there's a nice bright yellow so it was the yellow wire we need to take that which is our tx on our gps unit and connect that to our rx on our wires for the connector 
Now, here's the thing. That's all you actually need to do to connect up this GPS unit. We've given it power, we've given it uh, ground and five volts. As we learned, it was the third pin up from the bottom or third wire up from the bottom of the uh, connector is five volts. Uh, the fourth one up from the bottom is ground. And crucially, we've given it RX and TX, which are switched around. So we take the TX from the GPS unit and we connect it to the RX pin uh, on the flight controller and then vice versa for the other pin, okay? Now, while we're at it, is that the GPS unit does actually have a magnometer on board, or okay, AKA a compass, and it's actually just off the screen. Uh, it's hiding on the board just over there. Now, the thing is, is that we might as well connect this up while we're at it. Now, I'm actually gonna suggest later on in this series that you don't actually enable it, but while we're here, we might as well do it so how do we connect up the uh, magnometer? And actually, that's just the last two wires on the bottom. So to do that is really simple. We look at the wire down, wire down, wiring diagram over here on the right-hand side. It says SDA, and it's a blue. So let's go and choose a blue color. Uh, that's quite bright, isn't it? There we go. So you'll notice this bottom one is SDA. So we're going to take the blue wire, and we're going to connect that to SDA. So these ones do need to go in uh, into the right ones, okay? And then the other one, which was green, let me go and choose a nice green. Uh, there we go, that's quite a nice green. Uh, so the green wire, which was the second one up, we'll take that down and we'll connect that to SCL. And that will then allow you to use the magnometer or compass at a later date if you wish. Now. I think it's worth quickly just having a quick um, comment about the magnometer is that I'm actually going to suggest that you don't enable the magnometer and the reason being is that that's a feature which you can add later on a flying wing or a fixed wing model because generally speaking those models are always going forwards you don't really need the compass whereas on maybe like a quadcopter for example which has unlimited your abilities which it can spin on a dime a compass would be very very important but for a fixed wing model it's not that important at all as such we are going to connect the wires up here for the compass or magnometer but when it comes around to setting it up in inav i'm actually going to personally suggest to you that you do not enable the magnometer and of course a note here those of you which do oh i've got a compass i'm going to use a compass you must remember to actually calibrate the compass as well uh, and that will be covered in a later part of this series. So with that said, that's enough of the theory. Let's go and jump across to the workbench. Remember that colored, uh, co that wiring diagram there. Remember, we completely ignore the color coding on the connector which we've got, uh, and we make sure we put them in order according to the GPS unit. So I'm going across to the desk. I'll see you there in a few moments time. So we've been and come across to the workbench. I've got the soldering iron here. I've got the GPS unit and you'll see that I've been and trimmed the wires off the end. Let's just focus in on there. You'll see I've trimmed the wires off there. Now on the GPS unit, I have pushed down a bit of heat shrink out of the way so we can make this into a nice neat job afterwards. So big tip, because I always forget to do that. So I've put that down the back. We've got a couple of little pieces of heat shrink tube uh, just over there hiding away and we'll stick those on these wires in just a moment or in fact while I'm just popping these uh, on the connector wires is that I am just going to quickly reiterate is that it doesn't matter what co what color these wires are when they connect to the board what does matter is that we take notice of the color codes of the GPS unit and not what we've got on the actual board itself now maybe I should have done this beforehand, but I'm gonna let you into a little secret for this uh, video, is what I've been and done, is that I've actually been and written what needs to go on, on a little piece of paper uh, here in the background to make sure I get it right. So uh, if that's something which you'd like to do, then obviously just go and hit rewind. Uh, we, we just went through the color coding and we're, we're gonna do this together right now. Now obviously my connector wires, which I've got here, uh, are quite likely going to be different to the connector wires which you've got. So just to reiterate, we don't pay any attention to what color the wires are on the flight control or on this cable which, which we've got for the flight controller. Uh, we only take notice of the order in which they are in. Okay, so we'll be connecting the red wire 
on this little on here actually what's the red wire that's actually going to be rx okay so that looks a bit scary uh, but long as the red wire coming out of here goes to the right pin uh, on this connector then it's classed as happy days so what i'm going to do i'm going to work from the bottom of the list or in fact yeah let's work from the bottom and we'll work upwards oh no i'm going to change my mind we're going to focus on the power ones first. So power was, let's have a quick look at my little cheat sheet on here. It was the third wire up from the bottom. So we've got one, which in my case is white. So we're going to go one, two, three. So the third connector up, okay, the third wire up on here. And I hope that's in focus, which I don't think it is. Well, I'm focused. There we go. The third one up, okay, is actually a green wire for me, but that is five volts. So what I'm now going to go and do is get the red wire from the GPS unit and I'm going to twist that up. So I'm just going to twist the wires together like so. So there's we, we know that they're connected together and then I'm actually going to fold it back on itself. So I hope this comes out. In fact, I'm just going to make a point to show you how I've done mine. So it makes it easier for you. So let me just zoom in just there can you see what i've done there just put them together and then i folded them back over and while we're at it we're going to solder them up so where's my solder now as we saw in one of the other episodes it's an absolute nightmare trying to solder on uh, uh, on camera and that's a nice bit of crustiness on the uh do that so we're going to pretty preet in that and we're going to be super quick because these wires are super thin there we go jobs are good in so that's the red wire done now we need to do ground, and which one was ground? And that's the uh, fourth one up from the bottom. So we've got one, two, we've just done five, which uh, which was, um, we've just done three, which was five volts. And then the fourth wire up from the bottom, in my case, it's a yellow wire, probably gonna be different for you, uh, is gonna be ground. So where's the black wire on the GPS? Remember, we were only paying attention to the GPS wiring and where it gets connected to uh, for on the actual connector itself. So let's just fold those rounds. Again, I'm just gonna fold it over out the way, like so, and then we just need to give it a quick little dab of solder. Put some on the end. Yep, done. Brilliant. Uh, Right, that's ground and five volts. Let's go and do RX and TX. Now, we need to connect the yellow wire on this set to the top wire on here. So that top one there, that I'm, again, I can't check all my notes on it. I didn't pay any attention, I believe. So I think yellow is TX uh, and we need to give that to RX. So let's get this right in there. So the yellow wire goes to the top wire on the connector now a daft point for you do you know can you see that i'm doing this while the connector is actually plugged into the board you can see hopefully if that was in focus there we go you'll see that i've got this while this plug is actually connected to the board and the reason why i'm doing that is because it's very easy you unless it's connected to the board you don't know which way that connector is up so plug it into the board the board holds the wire still it makes soldering easier and it also means that you don't in inadvert inadvertently solder it everything the wrong way up. Okay, so that said, my yellow wire goes to the top wire on the connector, which I believe is TX to RX. Let's give it a quick little dose with some solder. Brilliant. And you'll see I was super quick then. Now I need to take the white wire, which I believe is the RX wire from the GPS unit. And that needs to go to the second wire down from the top, which in my case is a black wire. And I'm just going to twist these wires together. He says, come on, there we go. And again, if you're in any doubt at any point in time with anything which I'm doing here, remember you can hit pause and rewind. So if you're unsure on which connectors go where, go and hit rewind on this video and you'll be able to know for sure where these things go. Brilliant. So there's those there. Right, the last two wires which we've got coming out of the GPS unit, we've got a green wire and we've got a blue wire. So the green wire is SCL and that needs to go to the second wire up, which in my case is a blue wire. 
So we're going to connect these up. And unlike the RX and CX, these do need to go to the right labels. Okay, so SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA. Unlike the transmission pins for uh, the GPS unit, where RX and CX need to be reversed. So I'm just going to quickly give those a dab of solder. Brilliant, that's that done. And that only leaves one wire left, which is the SDA wire, which is my bottom wire, which in my case is a white one. Uh, so we take the blue wire and we'll put it onto the bottom wire of the connector. Quickly twist that up. He says, I'm making a really bad job of this. There we go, that's better. Right, twist those together. So make sure the wires are joined and then fold it over. And then we'll just give it a quick dab with some solder. Outstanding. Now I am just going to quickly visually inspect each of those wires to make sure that they are all soldered, which I can confirm they are. And again, you'll notice when I first started doing this video is that I did push down the uh, heat shrink tube in uh, because now I can push it over the actual connectors themselves. And what I'm going to go and do in a moment, and I can't see it, oh, it's over there on the side. I'm going to give it a quick blast uh, with the, uh, what should we call it? Uh, paint stripper heat gun. <laughs> it's a bit harsh, I can tell you. But it works absolutely fantastically well. If you are going to go and use a lighter on these, go really careful because these little wires are very, very tiny. So do go careful if you're going to use a flame uh, to shrink the heat shrink uh, on these. Uh, because the wires are not particularly thick and you'll end up having to do it all again if you burn through. So um, do go careful if you you're, you are just using a lighter to heat the sh uh, to shrink the heat shrink. So I'm going to be back in a second. I can see it over there on the side. Just going to get those shrunk up. Right, outstanding. That's how it was done. That was hard, wasn't it? All we had to do was solder up or connect these wires to the right wires. And I am going to repeat myself probably for about the fourth time. Okay, so the blue wire, I'm gonna work from bottom up on here. Separate those out of the way. Right, the blue wire from the GPS unit, remember we only care about the GPS unit and the colors which we've got on here and go into the right pins on this uh, connector. Okay, so the blue wire from the GPS, in fact I'll point at the GPS and then I'll point at the board. The blue wire goes to the bottom connector on this little JST SH connector. That's what the proper name for it is. Okay, so the blue wire goes to the bottom one on there. The green wire from the GPS goes to the second one up. The five volts goes to the third wire up on this connector. The black wire, which is grained, that goes to the fourth one up. And then we're left with TX and RX. So we take the white wire from the GPS and we put it on the fifth one up. And then the last wire is the yellow wire and we take the TX from there and then connect it to the last wire up there. And that's classed as happy days. And I'm just gonna quickly show you. So there's the wire which I've got. I might have picked, I can't get it all in one go. Well, I can actually, there we go. We'll bend it round and see if I can get that into focus for you. There we go. So that's what I've been to set mine up with now. All I'm now gonna go and do is push that bit of heat shrink tubing down. Make sure again, Always choose a bigger bit than what you need. I'm gonna push that down over there, make sure I've got it over the top. I'm gonna to put the hot air gun over the top of that. And then there we go, that's the GPS unit connected up. And remember, if you are in any doubt, hit pause, hit rewind, go back, go over the connectors again. And remember my biggest tip for this is plug your connector in to your actual board so you know you've got it the right way up and you follow the ordering which we've been in through. So with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode. And remember, for this whole iNav series, I do class the soldering piece as being the hardest part of this entire series. If you can do that, okay, solder on those pin connectors and solder up a couple of wires in the right order, that is happy days. That is the hardest part of this whole iNav series. So for myself, Matt, as always, cheerios.